Hey guys, today I will be showing you how to do this. Audio Jungle Audio Jungle Before all this 3D stuff, we first have to do our logo in Illustrator. After completion, we highlight the logo, and we go in the object tab and select the expand option. Now just copy the logo. And open up After Effects. Now open up a new composition. Right click and select a solid layer. Name this layer logo. Now paste the logo from Illustrator into the solid layer. Right click again and select another solid layer, and name it E3D also known as Element 3D. You can get this plugin from Video Copilot, check the link in the description. Now go into the Effects tab. Scroll down and go into Video Copilot. And click on Element 3D, or you can type it in the Effects and Presets tab. Now click the drop down arrow next to Custom Layers. And choose Custom Text and Masks. Choose Path Layer 1, and select the Logo Layer. After you have done all of that, click on Scene Setup. Click on Extrude, and now your logo will appear as a 3D element. This is the Element 3D interface in After Effects. Now all you have to do is choose whatever material you want for your logo. And also use a plain object as your background. After you finish adding textures to your logo and background, press OK. Now all we have to do is right click and select the camera. All you have to do now is animate the camera position, and duplicate it for every shot of your desire. For each shot just, change the position of the camera. Just look at what I am doing, to get an idea of how it's done. Audio Jungle
jungle. Now this is what the camera movement looks like. Now we right click and select an adjustment layer and name it flash. We will be using this to flash every time the camera changes. Just follow my steps.
Now we add another adjustment layer, and call it looks. Because we are going to color correct this scene. Then go into effects and presets tab, and look for the magic bullet looks plugin. Then click on edit. Choose whatever filter you want, to enhance your scene. Then we right click, and add lights to brighten the scene. Now the logo intro is completed. All you have to do is render and export.